everyone! A wakey wakey! Mark. We're gonna have a little flat meeting in the kitchen. Okay. When you get the four vampires in a flat, obviously there's going to be a lot of tension. We'll do my dishes! Do that, do that. One of the unfortunate things about not having a reflection is you don't know exactly what you look like. I go for a look which I call dead but delicious. Hello, ladies. Viago was an 18th century dandy. I came to this country for love. Uh, there was a girl, human girl. She gave me this before she left. Unfortunately, we vampires cannot wear silver. Vladislav used to be extremely powerful. He would kill anybody, burning everything. It was totally great. This is my torture chamber. He could hypnotize crowds of people. See me. See me. Hi, my name is Nick. I've been a vampire for two months. The neighbors can see you flying around. You want to draw attention to this house, hmm? You've got a whole documentary crew following you around. I can smell werewolves. Why don't you go smell your own crutches, huh? Ah, bitch. Ah, ah, hey! Don't no swear. What are we? Werewolves, not swear. You will not eat the camera guy. Maybe one camera guy. My friend has just been killed in the fate of sunlight accident. Ow! Hello. There's Hello? just mugs everywhere. There's My one? two mugs here, and oh, two mugs there, and then yeah. two others there. Oh, this, this is this is good. It's Hi, everybody. It's a good setup. This is yeah. TVs everywhere. Yeah. Speakers. It's very industrial, but yet very, very professional. Professional. There's even a dolly with a camera on it. Yeah. Oh this yeah. Whole setup's more Getting pushed than around. This film. Would you say this appears to be a bigger budget production than? I'd say so. Than the movie. Yes. Or about on par. It's similar. Yeah. Similar. You got more cameras. Well, hi. I'm Eugene. I'm host of whatever this is, and uh, build. <laughs> build. Host of build. Hashtag build <laughs> series. Build. How long have you been hosting build? <laughs> I don't know. Are you a founder of Build? I would say, I would say, however long I've been here. Mm. Um, Forty seconds. Se uh, yeah, I would say this is. Yeah, welcome to Build. <laughs> I'll be your host for the next, the rest of this. So uh, let's talk about the movie. <laughs> right? Is yeah, that yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Or do you want to start with when you guys were born? We could talk about anything. Okay. When when were you born? Uh, me, uh, 1975. Okay. Me also mid seventies. So then the movie. How'd you Me get the idea for the movie? <laughs> Pardon. How'd you get the idea for the movie? Oh, straight into the movie now. Okay. Uh, I thought oh, we were going to go right no, no, on like when we were, were born. I thought it was going to be all personal stuff for a bit. But, oh, um, we could go back. Has anyone here seen the movie? No. Uh, no. Okay. But has, so there's less of a Q and A and more just us telling you. Are the questions going to be go and what, see the movie? What happens in the movie? Yeah. Oh, do you, you saw most it, of it in the trailer, which gave away everything. Do you want to talk about the movie even a little? I'll talk about the trailer. I'll talk about American trailers, how they ruin all the movies. <laughs> do you they're, just a, they're just a collection of spoilers. And you want, the, you want to keep the movie as a secret? Well, I think <laughs> it's generally a good idea to, if you've kept things in the movie, to be a surprise in the movie, you do that. But then often in trailers here... They put, Nowadays, they put everything in. If, if there was an Empire Strikes Back um, trailer now, it would be about show a, a boy hand, and his father. And Luke's hand getting chopped off in the trailer. All right. Well, let's, let me ask this. Sorry to anyone who hasn't seen Empire Strikes Back. That's what happens at the end. <laughs> a lot of the people have seen. Uh, so we're, so you, this movie was based off of a short that you made in 2005. Is that right? So how did sort that, of. Sort of. Jesus. We had the idea... We shot some footage in 2005 doing the characters and doing questions. You know this. <laughs> and, uh, I was just seeing if there's any new information for me. And 
and so we did play at one short film festival in Wellington, but um, yeah, so we, we knew we wanted to make it into a feature film. How long between you making the short and then you shooting this movie? Eight years. Eight years? Mm-hmm. And how much of the movie is scripted and how much of it is uh, improvised? It's 100% scripted and then 95% improvised. <laughs> so that's 195% if you add it all up. So you we, wrote a we whole wrote the movie. Whole thing and then didn't really look at it. But then did you use it as like, this is what happens, these yeah. are the big things? Yeah, this otherwise, is... what would we have done it for? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what... Yeah, yeah, we, um, yeah. we would just describe each scene. Mm-hmm. Uh, to the actors. We didn't want them to know what was going to happen. We wanted them to be surprised when the character was surprised. Oh, and you kind of Woody Allen them. With your, like, you can't have all the sides. You is can only does? have a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. I thought this anyway. Was a, what does that technique? mean? Mary what? Them. I thought we have a, it's discovered a new technique. Woody Allen's done it. Oh, okay. It's very fresh for New Zealand. It sounds very yeah. fresh. Make it up. Um, so, so, you, so, so the actors didn't know where the story would go. That's no. correct. In fact, a lot of the time, they um, every day they'd think it was their last day. They thought they might die. Each they thought they might die every every you single day. Did. You were the only two that knew that you might not die. Yeah, so they'd say, "Hey, lie down here, and we're just going to cover you in blood. Don't move, okay? We'll just shoot this scene. And by the way, you don't have to come back tomorrow." So everything was shot like a sort of like a Jason Statham movie. You'd never know who'd live and who'd die. Except you knew that Jason Statham would be fine. <laughs> I've only seen The Expendables. Um, That's the only... Let's see if I have anything else. There's a lot of special effects yeah. in your movie. I'm, so, I'm still surprised that no one here has seen the movie and we're t- doing a Q&A about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's how we do it at Bill. But I only, I'll I mean, tell it, you this, I've seen the it movie. Makes sense. It makes I've sense because it starts today, so how could they have it seen it? It comes out today. Yeah. Who here is planning on going to see the movie? Yeah. Still, uh, even after you know our description, it just started with one person, and then I think everyone else yeah. felt com- a bit more comfortable with putting their hand well, up, and you all followed that one right. person. Would you rather talk about Men in Black Three? I don't think we're doing. I think if people have seen it, I don't think we're doing a good job of promoting this. If only one person was actually really yeah. enthusiastic. And do you guys are you going to go see the movie? Okay, great. Seems, nods. Seems like everyone. I mean, I don't know how many people you need to see this thing, but this we have amount. like twenty this or amount. so already. Okay, so yeah. So, so the special. How did you do the, all the special effects? So you have a lot of, uh, a lot more flying than I thought there would be, and a lot more uh, people turning into bats or vampires. Mm. I, I'm pretending the movie's real. Uh, <laughs> but uh, how did you do all that stuff? Was that hard? Did it? Did you do? Uh, so it wasn't hard for us when we when we shot it. It was uh, hard for the VFX people. Yeah. So I imagine I don't know how they do it. <laughs> I imagine it was hard work. But we, the flying you guys did, you had to be up in ropes or oh, something. Oh, it was hard. The yeah. hardest part, well, you, know, you put those harnesses on and you're dangling in the air. The hardest part of that was actually trying to be, um, trying to direct in that position and be taken seriously by people when you're trying to tell people off. And you're just dangling, just floating like that. Like, I don't, no, you, you over there, you got to... How much of the, when you're floating like that, can you control and how much is it people pulling you and you tossing you? No control at all. You have no control. Yeah, there's other people like lifting you up on pulleys and stuff. Right. I want to go higher, guys. I don't look like I'm flying. It's just serious. Did you enjoy it? It's really Did you guys enjoy flying? It's not that comfortable. It's, um, it's sort of like ropes attached to a diaper. Yeah. That make and, and the diaper's made being of swung around. metal. And, and it's more? How big is it? Like how are harness? How it's a full body diaper. <laughs> this sounds like a pretty fun party. <laughs> um, so yeah, and the bats that, so that's something that pe- ever, you did in post. I like that. I, or did people really turn into bats that you happened to <laughs> capture the moment? I don't I remember people it. really do- turning into bats. It was all, no. all post. And uh, we had really good special effects people and... It, it was surprisingly easy from our point of view. Often it was just, you just jump up and mm-hmm. then we'll shoot it again without you there and then we'll come back to you and you'll turn into a bat. And that's what they did oh. exactly. And uh, how many hours did you shoot for the film? Like how, because the film, if you improvised a lot, the film's yeah. like an hour and a half or so. Trust me. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> we shot about um, 140 hours 
of 140 hours. Anyway, to get that down to 85 minutes. Could you make a radically different version than the one you have, or is it just sort of different takes of the same? It would be know, basically the same thing happening, but yeah, you could make less, it. You could make a different like. version that has none of the same footage, probably. Yeah. We might put all that footage online and just invite other people to make their own versions of the film. Are you going to do that? Maybe. It sounds fun. So I don't know if we've got enough bandwidth to upload it all, though. 140 hours is quite a lot. I think you could definitely partner with Build. <laughs> yeah. Whatever that. Whatever it is. <laughs> Build with Eugene Merman. Yeah. 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 That's that's got a really catchy yeah. Um oh yeah, I already we talked about it being improvised. I feel like no one I feel like I can't understand what any, anyone's saying. Is this oh. the echo effect in here? Is it uh, are we understa- think, are think, we understandable? Yeah. We just oh, can't hear phew. each other, that's all. Good. I just Very want well. to get that out of the way now. Yeah. Not there at the end. A, but you understand each other. It's we understand each well. The, it's echoey, isn't it? It's it is echoey, echoey yes. Yeah. And then we all talk at the Maybe same Maybe if there time. was like a pricked a hole in the building. It would, no, I don't know how sound works. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it is a bit echoey in here. But when you think TV, you think a uh, sweet concrete room full of echo. <laughs> this is where the Beatles recorded all their echo albums. Full of people who don't know what you're talking about. I haven't seen your film. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, what else? Oh, yeah, how many countries is this being released in? Did you say too many or too little? <laughs> <laughs> too many to... A too lot, many to a remember. Lot. It was originally not going to be in the U.S., and now it is. That's right. Yeah, we originally we were like, were like, don't mm, give it to them. Not even on iTunes or something? A bit. Well, I guess it would have been on iTunes. Um, we decided to put it out ourselves, and we got a Kickstarter to do that, to distribute it. Mm-hmm. But, um, and then our... Then our people, or, um, our person, our uh-huh. person, <laughs> organized all the theaters that it's playing in, and they're up to around seventy theaters, which is much oh, wow. more than any other New Zealand film we've been involved in. It's more theaters than we've got in New Zealand. That you have in New Zealand is that true? True. Is it true. No. It's like no. It's very close. close. It'll be about. It's, it's close yeah. to the truth. Um, well, great. A lot of things we say I are love close it as to if the it's truth. like I've caught you guys in a lie. It's like, anyway, um, should we open this up to questions from the audience? This Some people here have seen the movie, right? Like uh, nobody. Has. Nobody. But it was fun to say that confidently. <laughs> um, look, when they cut um, this, it's this not like it's live streamed. When they cut this together, it's gonna look. Mm, it's live streamed. Uh, <laughs> Just maybe go like this. And when you ask the question, and then they yeah. can overdub you with some... Yes. Uh, someone's coming to you with a microphone. In real life, it's live stream as well. So I'm curious, is there any American film whose trailer you did like? Um, whose trailer we liked? Yeah, yeah, not the film. Yeah. Uh, well, I actually love getting to movies early and watch, watching the trailers, but often comedies, they, they blow all the jokes. In comedies, they're trying to be like, this is really funny, but often Look, it's all, all the, the funny We put all the funny bits all in a row. Yeah. And we're suggesting that the movie's like this the whole way. You know what's a great trailer? Kramer versus Kramer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that was fun to say. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I, I, guess I, uh, I guess I don't focus on the trailer, but every time we watch our trailer, we think, why are you putting these bits in it? Um, all right. Let's still stop talking about the trailers. I'm sorry I even mentioned it. That's okay. Okay. I'm sorry I, I never out. asked. Yeah. Next. Oh, okay. Sure. Hi. Um, I was just curious. Uh, was there a particular tr- reasoning as to why you guys decided to do it mockumentary style as opposed to single cam narrative? No, just random. We pre- just pressed random on our computer. <laughs> <laughs> we wanted to do a f- um, to sort of make like a documentary that you couldn't about a subject you couldn't document in real life. So, yeah, so we could use the effects and everything. But um, And we're also big vampire fans. We like vampire films. So, yeah, the most interesting thing... Smash those two genres together. What are some of your favourite vampire films? <laughs> Let the Right One In. The Lost Boys. <laughs> so that's two of them. <laughs> that's two. I don't want to press you. Other than that's Twilight, enough. I'm running that's out of... Enough. I don't, I, want to give, about. I don't want to promote those other films. Yeah. How's the comedy in New Zealand compared to the comedy here in America? 
We don't really have comedy in New Zealand. Um, we're, it's we're more so, polite. <laughs> we are some of the only... I wouldn't say that, though, really. I would. Well, maybe we're more polite, but the other comedy is very... It's big men shouting about how big a, m a man they are. Is that in New Zealand or here? It's New Zealand comedy. So and it's just the movie Grown Ups. It's, no. like, it, it's like, yeah, just very hairy big men. Um, just yelling? Just yelling, and mainly. Then, and then the other stuff is sort of vampire satire. Yeah, of course. That's, that's what we do, yeah. All right, sounds good. Oh, another question. Sure. Correct me if I'm wrong, but in the trailer we saw just now, um, I think I saw Murray. The oh, yeah, Reese Darby. He, right, right. he plays the, um, the leader of the werewolves, of I the Wellington-based werewolves. Uh, I guess my question then is, uh, are there any other maybe like cameos from Play the Concords crossover? Uh, uh, no, no. We tried to get Brett, but he was really busy doing the music for the second Muppets movie at the time, so we tried to cast him as several several different parts, but we, uh, we never got him. Couldn't get him. Um, Couldn't get him. Any, anyone else? Someone here. Yes. Right, right in the front. Um, uh, considering what a big role music played in um, the success of Flight of the Concords, would you ever consider making a musical? Yes. I'd like to make a musical. Have you considered making... They've just, they've just silenced you. <laughs> Enough. Uh -oh. It's not a musical. Don't talk about musicals. I think the question Did was... Did you ever consider that this might be a musical? You know, think about maybe making this a musical. A musical a vampire, vampire mockumentary. mockumentary musical. I think there might be one layer too much. So you would make a musical? <laughs> I would make a musical, yeah. He, he would, would make a musical. Yeah, he would. Great. I hope to. One more question. One oh, more question. So, so make it good. I have a question for you guys. Where did you come from? Do you just work in this office? Inside the building. They all work here. Mm. It's a very yeah. interesting... Um, oh. Yes. So as director and writer, when you are auditioning an actor, what do you look for? Um, any advice? What do we look for? They have to be alive. Okay, no, but like... That's the first well, thing, most uh, important thing. Besides this, passing out and uh, like, you know, yeah. just other than that. <laughs> you don't have to pass out to get into our film. Um, what, do we, what did we look for? Well, a lot, of this, a lot of these parts we wrote for people we knew from the comedy scene in New, New Zealand. Um, and a few people weren't actors. There's a woman who plays a police woman she's actually a kindergarten teacher who at the kindergarten she teaches at she often pretends to be a police woman and pulls up kids and gives them tickets for going too fast on their scooter <laughs> and um we cast her at, uh, and she hadn't acted in a film before there's we another character in there called Stu, who um who does it and he's played by our friend Stu, who does it <laughs> and uh he's great very natural very believable. Mm. He wore his own clothes a lot of the time. <laughs> uh, but I guess in this, when we did audition for a few parts, we looked for people that made us laugh, but also who seemed real, who seemed um, like they were actually did the jobs that they were pretending to do. It wasn't just the laughs, also believability. I don't know if that's helpful. Oh, that was the last question. Mm. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for joining us at Build. Thank you. Thank Build. you guys so much for coming. Thank you, Eugene.